for entertainment purposes only and may contain adult topics discussed in an adult manner with adult language. If you are under the age of 18, please make sure you have your parents' permission to tune in. The content of any and all PTR radio broadcasts are the property of PTR radio and are not to be used for any purpose other than personal entertainment without the expressed written consent of PTR radio. The content of any phone calls during a live broadcast become the property of PTR radio and may be used for promotional purposes at the discretion of the staff. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Climate upgrade in call. Me go no go for long. Red red online. Need to see hot tub. Check. Frosty beverages ready. Look at the train available. All systems functioning. Green lights across the board. You have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Welcome to version 2.0 of PTR Radio. This is PTR Radio. Obama, Romney, ready, set, go. As president, I will sit down day one, sit down with leaders for a couple hours, talk about the issues, talk about the challenges. Part of being a leader is not just saying, I'll sit down. But you have to have a plan. What it is that you intend to do. You have to have a plan. Okay, moving on now. Well, it's gonna get better soon. Uh, 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 well, will I have to buy my Microsoft Zoom? Uh, 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 the reason we've been in such a crisis. Such a crisis. Such a crisis. Reckless behavior. Banks making money hand over fist. You couldn't have people opening up banks in their garage and making loans. You have to have regulation. It appears we got some agreement. Oh, shit. I love Big Bird. I like PBS. I like you, too. But I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I work to cut a trillion dollars out of our budget. Are you going to tax rich people? A percentage that's evil? Or will you give them piles of cash? So they can use hundred dollar bills to wipe their ass. Under Ronnie's definition, Donald Trump is a small business. That kind of approach, I believe, will not grow our economy. It's not just Donald Trump you're taxing. It's all those small businesses. You raise taxes and you kill jobs. I've lost taxes 18 times. Time for some closing statements. If you got something to say, you better say it. Bring down rates, broaden the base, simplify the code, incentives for growth. Oh, we're going to double down on the top down. America does best when the middle class does best. Bring down rates, broaden the base. Oh, we're going to double down on the top down. Simplify the code, incentives for growth. Oh, we're going to top down on the double double down on the base. Thank you, Mr. President. And I want to thank the University of Denver. And I want to thank Mo 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 All right, everybody. Welcome to another edition of PTR Radio here on the fabulous guitar web. This evening brought to you by smallpox infested blankets. That's right, smallpox infested blankets. Get your country today. What? <laughs> Well, it's, it's Columbus Day. Ah. That's, that's how we got rid of the Indians. That is such a random... <laughs> Not that it's Columbus Day, the whole smallpox blankets thing. Random. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm Shaggy. 
I'm Nate. I'm Colin. I am Mike the Mustache Fishman. <laughs> <laughs> you should really find a gorilla head. They Do they not have a gorilla head? No, they don't have a gorilla head. That's not any good. Is oh, it? come on now. The horns are an acceptable substitute. Oh, hold on, substitute. hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll get rid of those, and I can do this. <laughs> it's the Mohawk Itty Man. Oh. I can do that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we call Mike the Pussy. Or I can do this. So Mike has found a new feature of the Google Hangouts, which is faces. Yes. Masks. Many effects. Many effects. And so, rather than just do the lower two third, lower third, which we're which PTR is doing, he is cycling through all of the wonderful mask choices that they have. Oh, uh, with, oh, that's what's ha that's what happened. I can't do lower third and Google Effects at the same time. No, probably not. That's stupid. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, we have lots to discuss this evening. First, though, I'd like to talk about my dinner. All right. Hey, Shaggy. Because that's all that's really important. Shaggy. I'm still finishing. Yes. Oh, tell us about your dinner. I had. What did you have? Well, we've talked about it several times on the show. Springfield, the Central Illinois itself, has a delicacy known as the horseshoe. Ah, uh, the horseshoe. Well, I created a new one this evening. Uh oh. Brand new. The chicken nugget horseshoe. That's what oh, it is. Oh, stop. Yes, we take your favorite stop. things. Time out. Oh, yes. what? A chicken nugget horseshoe. A chicken nugget horseshoe. Yes. Okay. So before you go any further, why don't uh -huh. you make sure? All right. Why, why don't you make sure that every everybody listening that, even understands what a horseshoe is? All right. So even a horseshoe is before. is toast, a meat of some kind, French fries, and cheese sauce from the ground up. Yes, that's from I the ground up. Thought that the horseshoe was like a giant pretzel that they no. did that no. stuff with. No. Although oh, that a pretzel good. one instead of the bread, that sounds amazing. Pretzel? To, oh, hell yeah. A pretzel shoe. Hell that yeah. sounds awesome. Okay, take a piece of toast. Yes. Slap, toast it. Toast it. Toast it. Slap first. some meat on there. Okay. Yes. Just an FYI, usually when you say toast, it's already toasted. Yeah. Well, uh, in case your toast isn't toasted. There's a special kind of bread called Texas toast. No. So you have to toast the Well, Texas that's just toast thick bread. toast. Right, but the, the bag still says Texas toast. I've been okay. told. I've been take told the hollow works really good too. Take, take thick bread, toast yes. it. Okay, slap it on there. The plate. You don't take toast and toast it. Okay, take fine. Thi take thick white bread because that's your, that's the I, tradition. I prefer thick, Wonder Bread. Whatever, toast it. Slap it on a plate. Take okay, whatever you, whatever meat whatever meat or meat type substance. substance. That you want because so, there, there's all sorts of so crazy, for example, crazy veggie people out there. Uh, shrimp. Uh, there's actually a tofu one around here somewhere. Right. Um, That's nasty. Uh, fried chicken. Exactly. Don't you uh, ever ham, curse at me with that four-letter word again. <laughs> um, there, uh, roast beef. Uh, uh, buffalo chickens a fan, is is a, is a very popular sausage for the breakfast shoe. Absolutely. Uh, bacon. There's bacon. a bacon shoe. You know it's um, better than a bacon shoe, right? A hamburger bacon shoe. A, a second bacon shoe. A second bacon shoe on top. Okay, you need so, two shoes to make a pair. Yeah. All right, then so we got. Smother the entire thing in French fries. Yeah, lots and, of mound and it. pour cheese sauce all over the entire thing. Yeah. The uh, by the, the byline for this dish is heart attack on a plate. Now, see, it's replaced though, because my bacon sandwich that I make, you know, my my five pounds of bacon sandwich, that's the heart attack on a plate. This is merely just a mild. No, no, coronary. your bacon sandwich is the Elvis. It, uh, no, because there's no peanut butter, there's no bananas. There's and no it's not deep fried. Yeah. It's, well, I, the bacon's deep fried. But nonetheless, uh, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, a horseshoe is not something which is good for you. It's been equated no, to any, roughly any, three Big Macs. Right. No, no, so, it's much, much, much worse. Much, much worse. So, okay. flying in the face of tradition, yes, you used chicken nuggets well, see, instead because the tradition is always just a hamburger well see but the problem is i love a fried chicken horseshoe i've never had one that's oh, that sounds good wonderful you, you get the boneless skinless chicken breast uh -huh. you bread it you fry it up boom slap that on there oh it's 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 it's, Bam! it's liquid butter in your mouth it, it, it's better than that 
Um, so pretty close to liquid butter by the time you're great. done. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just save the trouble of cutting up the chicken after it's on the horseshoe. I'll just use chicken nuggets. What could be better? So that's what I did. I did the chicken nugget horseshoe. And uh, Colin, is there, I know I you're surfing the web. Did you uh-huh. happen to find any entries linking it regionally or anything? Oh, it's very, it's, it's very regional to the central Illinois area. Yeah, is it on Wikipedia by chance? Or maybe is it in Urban Dictionary? Because that would be great. Uh, I don't know. I, I can tell you that a uh, typical horseshoe uh-huh. is uh, 1,886 calories. That's right. So okay. roughly... Typical. But that, typical. Ain't, that ain't some, shit. Some are known to be more like uh, 2,900 and something calories, which is roughly equivalent to uh, five Big Macs. Yeah. I'm a hockey player. I'll burn that shit off. Exactly. See, I'm not a hockey player. Um, and I don't think going up and down the stairs, the six stairs it takes to get to my basement, will necessarily burn the required calories off, uh, which is why we're shooting from about the shoulders up on the video, you'll notice. <laughs> uh, and, by the way, we're very patriotic this evening. Mike, did you see our new background? Yes, I did. Yeah. So uh, I decided that Addie and Gabe have a flag in their background, and if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. You know, Plus... One of us here has some service history. Right, Mike? Um, yeah, but I'm not in the studio where the flag is. But you're associated with the show that has a studio where the flag is hanging. Sure. Yes. Uh, okay, What? just, just out yes. of curiosity, what, yeah, thank you. What, what, service, what service history? I was in the army for 28 days. Excuse me. It was a hard-fought 28 days. I got. He was saving your freedom. I got he injured. Was. I got injured in basic and wasn't given a choice. I was told I had to go home. That sucks. He did it all for your freedom. Absolutely. Uh huh. I and just for the record, I don't claim to be a veteran. I don't. I don't want to like. Like squat on the honor of like real veterans, you know that's uh, it's not my style. I support them, but I don't oh, go yeah. telling I don't go telling people I'm a veteran. I'm like, look, were you in the army? Yeah, but but there's a story. Ish. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> there's always a but, and usually gets a bullet in it, and that's what gets you out of the army. But not okay. Moving on to to topics of the show. Yes. All right. We uh we got a couple comments on YouTube on our last show that uh, people seem to like the YouTube thing, so we're continuing it on this week. Yeah, and listen, if you guys, to all our listeners, if you're gonna leave a comment on YouTube about one of the videos, don't leave. What's up? <laughs> you mean that's not a valid comment? Son? No, I mean it's great that you're like actually watching, and thank you. I don't want to belittle you for for that, but. Put some thought into the comment, bro. Don't just be like, sup? Are you Mexican? You... Well, maybe he meant to write soup, and he just forgot a letter. That Asking us if we wanted soup. No, don't work. From now on, anybody that writes sup, we're going to assume that they're asking about soup, and we will respond with what soup we would like at that time. How does that sound? Sir Mars, you can kiss my ass. I am an in. What's up? See? That, that's the, that, uh, apparently, that's the new Are You Live? Well, we don't need one of those because everybody knows that every other Monday we are live. And we're zombies. Time. Yes. Oh, zombie. You were talking about, you said zombies, didn't you? Yes, or we're zombies. Yes. Okay. I want to talk about zombies because this was speaking a, of zombies. I don't know if anybody. It's, it's weird that we have a zombie segue, but segway. we do. Um, so did wait, anyone, wait, what? Contact info. Uh, because we do I have listeners. I can't give you the contact info. Shaggy took the page down. You don't know the damn number by now. I've do only you, been doing. We've only been doing the show for five years. All right, five, to hell with the five, number. You fuck. Five no, years? No, no, no. In <laughs> fairness, we've only had this number for a little while. We haven't had that no- the same number. We don't want them okay. to be giving out the other number. 
Well, no, we don't want him to give out nine one one. That no, is a we horrible don't number want for him people to, to give, dial. A, give out. No, no, no. It's nine, something nine, nine. live. Yes. No, because they're not anyway. Um, but besides that, the embezzlement isn't complete, so they're still asking for your money. Besides the point, though, <laughs> um, you can get a hold of the show eight seven seven PTR eight TAC. That's uh, 877-787-8722. No, you were so close. Damn! I just wrote it down for somebody eight, today, too. 8822. 8822. Eight, eight, two, two. So 8822 on the end there. So, uh, um, yeah, so you can get a hold of the show. And, and we might have somebody calling in towards the end of the, the show if he can get... He's working in a T-Mobile store... And he has to try and find a phone. What? It's kind of was my response. I'm like, wait a second. You, <coughs> you're, you working until, you're working until 1030 in the evening at a T-Mobile store, and you're going to have to try and find a phone. Okay, here's my next question. Is, I got an idea. Look to the left and right. Is, is this a secret call-in? No, it's not a secret call-in. It, 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 it potentially might be... Matt, our winner of the random box of wonderful ah, weeks. Uh-huh. That's very cool. Uh, and I told him if he didn't have, I like, we don't want to cost you your job in this tough economy. So no. if, if you don't have time to call in, it's now a big deal. We'll get a hold of you some other time. As we as we're doing right now, we're scheduling interviews. D- d- wait a minute. T-Mobile actually has stores. They don't have the iPhone. They don't need anybody standing there waiting. You know what? They just opened a T-Mobile store in town. Oh, we've had one in the mall for years. Well, I know, but now there's like a brick and mortar location, not just like a little cart. No, they've had full on. I I'm just making a joke. I would like to. I would. I I missed that. I would like to steer away from that. That and ask. When did Microsoft start opening stores? They've had those for right after um, Apple. Yeah. They've had those out for for quite a while. There's not a whole lot that's actually mi- truly Microsoft in there, other than box software. And I would also like to know why there ain't one by me, <laughs> along with fries. Oh. I would kill for a fries or a micro center near here. Yeah, yes. whenever I go out to Seattle, I always have to go to the fries. It is awesome. I, I I'm very disappointed every time I log on to Slick Deals and see such and such computer only three dollars fries B and M only cents. brick and mortar only fuck you <laughs> all right getting back to the segue that uh, Colin so so wonderfully put up that'd be zombies zombies Yay, right. zombies there is. And don't tell me that I didn't. Ah, shit, I didn't download it, so we'll have to watch it uh, fresh. But anyway, uh, let's see. Zombies, there is. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's the very it. last one. There is a zombie ad out on TV now, not for a TV show or a movie or a video game. Mike the Fishman. I'm talking about a zombie PSA, and it's not a. It, it's not a. Apocalypse coming. We want. We will get you. Buy your canned Way. food now. No, it's, yeah, no, it's not like that, right? No, it's not an emergency preparedness video. It is a CPR video. It is. It's called the undeading, and it starts off with a a woman walking around, running around a. Apocalypse style town. And when out from behind sandbags comes a zombie with uh, a very messed up complexion. He okay. really needs Propecia. Well, while he's going on this, uh, just quick interjection. You know, you've been playing video games too long, where when you see an apocalyptic city scene and you see a zombie way down, way down in the far end, far end. Yeah, you immediately think, okay, do I put sniper rifle? Yeah. And move on. Yeah. So first she kicks him off him and then whacks his head off with a steel bar. Which is not great. bad looking either. No, she's not bad. Very very business casual. Right. 
Um, and then she goes and turns around, and here's a whole crowd of zombies upon her. Wall to wall zombies on one side, and zombies on the other side. She turns around, wall to wall zombies on the other side. So it turns out this one little zombie that she was dealing with, not that big of a deal. He was bait. So here's where it comes in, grabs her, grabs her boob, and down for the count. She's out with a heart attack. Now zombies all around her. And when now someone they're... suffers a cardiac arrest. All right. So oh. one zombie pulls out a cell phone and calls 911. Why? <laughs> Another zombie starts doing compressions. Push hard and fast about twice every second. And it almost almost looks like the Don't zombies hesitate. You can't do harm. fall off. This, this can't be a legit PSA now because I thought they got rid of you only did one or the other. You didn't do compressions and then breaths. I thought we, they changed the CPR. They they're not doing breaths. breaths. It's just oh. compressions now. Okay. Yeah, so now she's alive. She's looking around going, oh, they're helpful zombies. How wonderful. Helpful zombies. What the? And, and then they attack her and eat her. Ah. See now, Sir Mars writes in brilliant comment. This is why this is why I love our listeners. Now, what would have been awesome is when she wakes up, they all started doing the thriller dance, right? Well, see, and now she's a zombie, and then you flash to a scene in the street where they're all resuscitating people, and it's called the Undeading Ca. That's so. This is California's Canada. idea of heart and stroke uh, awareness. California, uh, Canada, Canada. 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 California. It's Canada. close. Nah. They're neighbors. Ish. <laughs> okay, CA. Uh, they're they're both Could have been California. In the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. You know? Don't, sure. Don't be tripping. So so that's what we've come to now for PSAs. Now last show we, we watched the one on how to deal with a a, a terrorist attack at your office. La that was funny. Last show we dealt with that one. That was good. And, and so now we're getting CPR hints from zombies. Any guess on what's next? Hmm. Pet resuscitation. Okay, in like what? Animal hospital C or something? C CPR for pets. You can get I that guy. You can get that guy that has what? What? what what's that new show? Uh, animal practice or whatever. They canceled that. <laughs> Did they already? Did two, they cancel it already? Two episodes and it's canceled. Nice. That's well, you know, that's what happens when you preempt the who. <laughs> preempt the who. Yes. We talking about during the Olympics. It was time for the who to perform at the closing ceremonies, and NBC decided instead to show animal practice. What? Yep. I completely missed that. Yeah, they said, "Come back and ha come back in an hour for the Who." Now it's animal practice. They're, they're, uh, look it up. Uh, Costas was on uh, Conan, uh huh, and had a very good description on uh, what happened that night. Yes. Wow. Now the Who. No, animal practice has not been canceled officially. Not officially, but unofficially, I think it has been. I'm pretty sure it's been canceled, or it's being eyed for heavy cancellation. Well, it's definitely being eyed. It's, it, it's well, uh, right up there along with um, Mob Doctor. Oh, Mob, Mob Doctor. Mob Doctor actually is... might get to canceled first. Mob Doctor? Yes. She's a doctor who uh, has an agreement with the mob. Yes. I don't know, but did anybody... I know, We were on... Uh-huh. The, the last time we were on was the first episode. Has anybody watched Revolution? Yes. It, I was waiting to make sure that it was going to succeed. I'm not sure it's going to succeed. Uh, its ratings are very good, and it's been uh, it's, it's got its back nine picked up. So. Yeah, but you know what? I gave it three episodes, and I'm still not that into it yet. Ah, well, see, I haven't watched any yet, so I'm just going off. Of oh, that. you haven't watched it yet. No, I was I've... waiting to see if it was. I mean, if it was only going to have three episodes, and then it was going to be canceled, I wasn't even going to start. I have watched them all, and I have to say, I, 
I'm not. Sh- th- this is one of those shows, kind of like um, Terra Nova. <laughs> no, not Terra Nova. It's one of those shows where you watch it and you're like, "How long are they really going to be able to drag this out?" Yeah, because the you know? plot concept seems pretty simple, and they're giving away a lot of stuff now. Yeah, See, my, my problem was I read a lot of books well, I, that have very similar plots like uh, the 1632 series which has a whole bunch of modern people sent back to 1632 Germany Um, and then there was the uh, there might be dragon series which was another uh, futuristic people have lots of stuff and then everything's taken away and they're back to medieval type technology just like revolution so I have read a lot of this kind of thing written by much smarter people than who work in Hollywood so I saw the ads and I was just like, "No, this this is no that that's that's stupid." So that's one of the reasons why I've just been kind of. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a couple more episodes, and then I'll make my determination of whether I continue or just now, say later. I will admit I'm not helping the cause because I watch it on Hulu. Yeah, well, I'm not so... helping either because I. I see a similar <laughs> commercial-free uh, version of the show. Venue. <laughs> higher yes. quality. Yes, higher quality. Uh, uh, on demand. Yes. It's, it's an on-demand service. Yes, yes. I, I'd I say my, my favorite new show is Elementary. Uh, it's definitely not as good as uh, Sherlock, which is the BBC Sherlock Holmes show, but uh, it's fun. Oh, okay. Elementary. I don't know if I have. I don't. I didn't want to play this for break because it's kind of stupid. But uh, did you see? Did anyone see the YouTube Sherlock Holmes meets Blues Clues episode? No. no. Oh Jesus! This sounds stupid it, and entertaining. It, it sounds like something stupid that, and entertaining. It sounds like something that I probably wouldn't even click on if it was posted on somebody's wall on Facebook. This was you can do to make Blue happy. Ha! Huh. Well, you know what happens now. We look for three clues, and then we put them in a... Step aside. Made of paper. Mentally unstable. Dog possibly diseased. A clue! Shut up! We are looking for blues, dudes. We are looking for Incredible. Blues. You're a worse no, singer than stop. you are a detective. Stop. Stop! I'm I'm yeah. I'm dumber for listening to that little bit. Stop! <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, I I do want to play. I got to bring it back up now. But I want to play you the end of the episode because that's the funny part. Okay. Yeah. Last line. It brought you here, didn't it? Oh, in an attempt to hide. Blue is a failed government experiment to create a genetically superior dog. She was sent to Indonesia in an attempt to hide her, but she came back. She's trying to cover up the past, but she can't outrun it. (laughs) If that had been like clips of the actual Sherlock show, then that would have been fun. But (laughs) it's just a a skinny guy in a bad wig. Yeah, who looks like he should be a member of the Cure. No, rather than Sherlock. Just not right. Just no, (laughs) no, no. And I've watched every freaking iteration of Gangnam Style out there. (laughs) Did you watch Honey? I I played Honey Boo Boo style for the kids last night when they came over. Did yeah, you I, see it? Did well, you I posted see that. Style? I I think I saw Gandalf style. Yeah, that was. Then, then, this is how cool the, this this guy Sai is. This is how cool he is. He specifically said he is not going after anyone who makes parodies or does videos using his music because he wants the song to be shared. Yeah, and he's bringing in the money hand over fists. So. Well, oh, keep over, doing it. Keep over going. 300 million views on YouTube. Did you see the one? I got Kim to commit that when, not if, when he tours in the U.S., because you know it's going to happen. When oh, he yeah, tours yeah. in the U.S., Kim is going to go. But it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be the shortest concert in history because no, he has no. one song. No. I posted a video last last week 
on my personal Facebook page, which if you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, then you're missing out on a lot of shit. Because <laughs> one of the guys on my hockey team actually said, when are you going to start posting useful stuff or things I might actually care about? <laughs> I said, never. That's not what Facebook is for. If I, want, if I have something useful to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Facebook, no. Uh. At one of his shows... He got dressed up in the Lady Gaga costume, complete with cone boobs, and danced to Poker Face with his dancers, and then danced to single ladies in a unitard. Now, I'm not saying the guy is attractive, because he is far from it, but it's yeah. hysterical that he's getting all into the dance and getting serious and what have you. So, I think he put on a very good show. Maybe not exactly what you would call a concert, Oh yeah, but more like a show. Yeah. Um. Did you see? Uh, speaking of that, oh, damn it! Now it, it just uh, out of my head. But anyway, yeah. That's usually my job. I know. I know. Well, Nate and I, hopefully, if if this schedule works out for Nate, we will be going somewhere on Thursday to watch a show. We will. Uh, which is not necessarily guaranteed to be funny. But it will be entertaining. Just like a singer who doesn't sing may not, it may not be a great concert, but it will be entertaining. Um, and uh, it, it, the way this came about was a few months ago, the local theater center here said, "Hey, uh, we've got a guy who's doing a national tour visiting all of the state capitals." Sweet, this is awesome. And so I looked at it, and it's Henry Rollins. Now I don't think. <sighs> Henry Rollins is coming here. So, so of course, the local paper goes, stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Chicago. <laughs> That's actually what they put in the newspaper. <laughs> Dave, uh, the, the newspa local newspaper used to be one of the most prestigious ones in the country. Yeah. And now... You get yeah. more use, news on Facebook. Yeah, because most of the time they uh, they give you news from the AP that happened last week. Yeah, so so Thursday, it, the idea was I bought two tickets when I when I first heard the first day they went on sale because I'm like they're gonna sell out. This is gonna be awesome because um, I've listened to Henry Rollins stuff and I like him. I, I think he does a great spoken word thing. And uh, originally I I thought well the wife may want to go. It could be one of those you know couple of moments. And, and then I, after I purchased the ticket, I thought about it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that may not be her style, you know, because he is funny, but it's in an intellectual way, you know, and she's more, she's more of a Billingville Jeff Foxworthy kind be of funny. Be careful how far you take this, I'm because eventually she, she might listen. to this. She just said that it's not her cup of tea because Sunday. Uh, or Saturday driving around town, I played a little bit of him for her on the, in the car. Mm -hmm. And that's when I messaged Nate and said, hey, remember that idea I had about you going instead of the wife? Yeah, are you really free? Because I got an extra ticket now. So, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah we'll, we'll go and see Henry Rollins, and we will, uh, you know, I don't know if there's going to be a meet and greet afterwards or not, mm -hmm. but I really want there to be. And I really want to give him a card. And say, here, call into the radio show. It'll be awesome. That would be cool. Because if we could get Henry Rollins to call in, I mean, we are moving up in the echelon of guests. There is no doubt about it. But uh, a Henry Rollins call in. Well, abs absolutely. Would I mean, be think about amazing. it. Amazing. Think about it. We've had, the, we've had the developer of a major website. Yes. We've had a major WWF star. ECW. Yes. E ECW. Excuse, whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm old school. My bad. Yeah. And and, and now and we've also the, had the producers of an award winning web series. That's right. Absolutely. I mean, we are getting there. And now I have a little tidbit uh that I've kind of spliced together of a couple things about our next guest that we're gonna have on the show. And I've teased this on on Facebook a little bit, and at the end of the uh or in the beginning of next hour I'll say who it is because we're gonna play a couple different clips of him. But here is a short bit, and uh, I know Colin saw this a little bit beforehand, uh, and Mike, you, I think you'll get everything by listening to it, because obviously he's a comedian, and he's a smart one. So uh, he knows that not everything is going to be visual. 
And Nate, you haven't seen this guy yet. I don't know if I told you who he is, but let's not let the cat out of the bag yet. Here is a brief synopsis of who we will have on on the next, I believe it's the next live show. We'll, we'll have an interview with him by then. So here is um, the clip. Thanks, everybody. That music's exactly right for me. <laughs> if geeky is a kind of humor, it's probably the kind that I'm doing. Sort of like the SATs is the way my brain works. A lot of word jokes. Well, I like college uh, shows a lot because uh, that's sort of my bread and butter. I'm a vegan, so it's just bread. <laughs> matzah occasionally. Holla, everybody, when it's not matzah. And make some oys. Stop it, everybody. Stop it. I basically just carry around a notebook at all times. I carry around a digital recorder at all times. And if I think of something, I record it. So I saw the new, uh, the new Karate Kid movie. Or I saw the... The old one and a commercial for the new one. So I get it. I get it. He wins, probably, I assume. Or it's racist. And here's the thing, though. It started from the catchphrase in the, at the end of the commercial. It said, the legend begins. And uh, I thought that was uh, noteworthy because there already was a series of Karate Kid movies. So the legend already began. I was like, that actually does interest me to see how Daniel started off life as a black boy. Because <laughs> they didn't allude to that at all in the first one. There was some disconnect between the reality and what they were presenting. And I was like, and that will make a joke. I performed at a school uh, in Connecticut once called Albertus Magnus. That is its real name. And uh, it's really Latin and really looks like it's Latin for Fat Albert. And you guys liked that a little better than they did. They were all like, hey, hey, hey. So <laughs> That sort of just wrote itself via reality, and I was just a scribe and then sort of filled it out. And uh, that's one that I don't think I'll do on Last Comic Standing because uh, I don't think everybody cares about Fat Albert and Latin at the same time. <laughs> My relationship with an audience uh, is different every time. Opportunities exist to play with the audience. Additional sort of writing and riffing and going off book uh, can happen in the moment. And for somebody who enjoys books as much as I do, going off book uh, surprisingly, is also enjoyable. The other day, I was at a bar, and I shoved a guy, and I was like, tell me you're a pussy. And, uh, <laughs> just kidding. I was the doctor that did that, so... Uh, <laughs> close enough, right? Uh, I'm a Jew. It's almost... It's enough, enough to... An oh, lots of... Lots? Please stop making noise, Jews. You will alert the public that we are hiding in this basement. <laughs> and this basement is a good hiding place because they check for addicts mostly now. That's where... <laughs> One of the best things wow. about being a comedian is writing a joke, thinking it's funny, and then finding out that you're right or making it right. You know, finding out it didn't work the first time or something was off, but you're like, There's, I like this idea and I'm going to make it work, and eventually you find the way, the right phrasing or the right element or the right perspective to get across in your head this thing that ideally nobody else has thought of in this way, making other people see it the same way that you do for the first time. So that is who we will have on the show uh, coming up. Now I will tell you, as, as I put in Facebook, He's been on The Tonight Show. He's been on David Letterman. He's been on Conan several times. As reference there, he was a finalist on Last Comic Standing. And he won the 2011 iTunes Most Downloaded Comedy Album. So, and Comedy Central specials, of course, but everybody oh, right, gets yeah. Comedy Central specials. Right. So, he is a bona fide comedic star, I would say. Absolutely. And now his career will be complete because, as we tell everyone, once you hit PTR, you have reached the zenith of your career. You have arrived. That's right. Uh, the only place to go from the zenith that we are is to RCA, maybe. But <laughs> maybe Yamaha. It depends on what your preference is in stereos. Westinghouse. Oh, okay. But regardless, he, he will be on the show, and I think that's going to be great. We'll have a, a bunch of questions for him. And if you have questions that you would like us to ask uh, this mystery comedian who we will uh, announce in the next uh, hour, 
you can always send him in show at ptrradio.com. By now, some people know who he is, and uh, like I said, in in about thirty minutes, we'll uh, we'll tell you exactly who he is. So, uh, with that said, who wants to see a douchebag get tasered? Yes, me, me. Yay! I think it's more like. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> yeah, right. So the 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 everybody knows that guy that has a little bit of legal knowledge or thinks he does and really wants to try and stick it to the man when he goes to court. All right. And, and there's a term for these guys. I think they're like nationalists or something like that, but they, they believe that they are not a person in the eyes of the government. They, they don't recognize the authority of the courts or of police or anything like that. Uh, they believe that they are into themselves their own little microcosm. Yeah. So like, Oh, um, Wesley yeah. Snipes. Huh? So, no, they're not evading taxes oh, necessarily. This guy's just being a re- major douche. Uh, in this case, the the guy uh, is being filmed by his mom. Uh, I thought that might be a little bit <laughs> relevant here. Oh boy! <laughs> and he, he's having to go to court for some reason. This is one of those things that, without even hearing it, you just know is not going to end well. No, it's not going to end well. And I have to say, he. The the guy may be overreacting a little bit that does the tasing, but if you were him, you'd want to tase this guy too. So so here is here is the clip of uh, called douche Mag gets tased, and that's all you have to look for. What's your first and last name? I don't have a last name. You don't have a last name. No. What's your first name? I don't have a first name either. I've got a name. My name is Robert. You can call me Robert. Oh, wow. I'm not a person. So you here with Admiralty Maritime Jurisdiction which deals with persons, which I am not. What are you? Are you human? I'm a man. You're human? I'm a man, yes. Are you a citizen? No. You're not a U.S. citizen? I was not born in Washington, D.C. or any territory of the federal, under federal jurisdiction, so no, I'm not a U.S. citizen. This guy got a history book or one of these other conspiracy-type books and read it cover to cover and said, I'm going to go in and teach these people a lesson. I'm smarter than all of them, regardless of the fact that they went to Yale or Harvard or wherever. And right now, this is just the, I, I don't know if he's a court reporter or just the guy who checks Looks people like he's in. he's got an earpiece in his ear. But, but this guy is being nothing but nice to this jerkwad giving him a hard time. And, uh, and, it, and it gets better because... Oh, just watch. In the United States, America, in the States. I was born in America. Yes, I'm a state citizen okay. of one of the several states. There's more than seven. One of the several. Which state? Idaho. Idaho. Can I see your Idaho state license? No, I don't have one. You don't have one. My person does, but I don't, and I don't wish to create joinder with you. <laughs> All right. And if you want to, just can I get your name, please. E. Smith, so thank wish you. to what? Create joinder. The, uh, from what I understand, okay, we all have credit cards, and most of those credit cards, your first and last name is in capital letters. Uh-huh. Okay? It's just easier. So idiots like this believe that that creates an inherent corporation. So the idea is that you are... What the federal government identifies is you as the corporation, not you as the individual. So that's where he's getting all this maritime law shit and joinder and everything else from, is he's stating that he is not a person in the respect that the United States okay. of America sees okay. a person. Beyond, this has gone beyond douchebaggery into just <laughs> absurd this yeah. is go with jackassery. <laughs> yeah. This is like trying to live your life according to the rules of the McDonald's monopoly. <laughs> this this guy there, made, there are people that do, I think it's called like territorialists. Or, yeah, yeah. Or, or or something like that. They don't believe they don't believe that any of the existing rules apply to them because they are not a part of the of, United States. Of the system. Right. Yeah. They're above if, the system. If I had to choose between this guy sovereignness that's and this. Snooky <laughs> to spend my two-year journey to Mars. <laughs> I might have finally found somebody to make me think 
Snooky ain't so bad. <laughs> Wait, it, it gets better because he hasn't yeah. actually talked to the uh, to the officers yet. Because you can at least knock Snooky the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Are you a bailiff or are you a prosecutor? Oh, you're probably a bailiff. You got the air thing in, huh? So the guy the walks, away. Just walks away. So, so now he's out there with his camera. And, and like I said, his mom is somewhere in there. I don't know if she's filming, but I know that it was. Yes, he is. Yeah, could be. Because so far, this has all been for person. Yeah. So, so he's he's looking around. He sees the guys with guns on them. So. <laughs> Just watch. People are walking back. Yeah. Camera. Excuse me. Oh, Let's speak on. with the prosecutor. Excuse me. Camera. Excuse me. You're blocking my freedom of movement. I am. All right. Well, Pete Barnes, you just admitted to me that you're violating my rights. No, I'm not. You can't come in with the camera. Well, you're violating my rights. And this is also freedom of the press. This is also freedom of the press. I mean, I don't know what the hell law book you're reading, man, but it doesn't apply. So, he, so he's been told you can't come in with a camera. Like three times. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. You can't come into the courtroom with a camera. It, it's pretty simple. Apply to me. You leave the camera with your mother outside the courtroom and you can come in. <laughs> you are not God. You have no jurisdiction over me. God's not worried about cameras, sir. I am. All right. Well, why are you worried about cameras? Because you want to do something against wrong? You want to do something wrong? Because if, if it's against the rules, that means it's because somebody intends on wronging somebody else because they're afraid of being held accountable. P. Barnes. It's a nice speech, but you're still not coming in. Well, <laughs> I mean, I don't have to go in because okay. you can't even issue a warrant for me. You might as well leave. Well, no, I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to speak with the you prosecutor. You go in there without the camera. Well, yeah. please step aside. I'm going in. No, you're not going in. Don't touch me. You're not going in, sir. Let the record show that you just battered me. Step back. And you're using... Oh! 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 Yes. yes. Down. Yes. I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> hey, you know what? You guys are really overstepping your bounds right now. Put the stuff on Put the cuss on. What are you arresting me for? So he goes down hard too. I mean, you know. Wow. <laughs> he just gets the piss shocked out of him. And He's what we like to call fucked. I mean, the guy warned him, "Don't come in here with a camera." Uh huh. He he pulled his weapon and was he holding it twice yeah. when he had the taser out. Yeah. But that's all. The, that's all. That's all an officer and an officer is required to do. Warn you two times. Yep. There's a a Lonely Island song called yeah. "Threw It on the Ground." Yeah. Apparently, this guy heard that song and thought, "Hey, this is a good philosophy to live with." By the way, do we want uh, mint Oreo milkshakes? Does anyone want a mint Oreo milkshake? <laughs> Who the fuck doesn't want a mint? <laughs> yeah. Milkshake? Okay, so that's yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> thank three. you, wife. Thank you, thank Please. you, thank you, and thank you. Fucking, uh, so I fucking hate you guys when you do this shit during the show. Okay. So we will have a point and laugh at Mike. We will have. Ha <laughs> ha. So so we will have three mint Oreo milkshakes, uh, you know, brought down to us. We could ship one to you, Mike. Mike, do you do you have a chicken biscuit? Maybe is there a chicken biscuit on the way? There's there's no chicken biscuit. Nope, no, nope. but me thinks there might be a motherfucker coming. <laughs> no, the no bacon second. Sunday coming down the oh, hallway. Buddy, you know what? <laughs> you know, if, if if looks could freaking kill, I swear to God, I would fucking <laughs> laser beams right. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, my arm got hot. Oh some, no, sorry. Some. <laughs> so uh so so yeah this guy just got put down hard he got put in his place and and i don't blame him a bit no oh i did wanted to shoot you him know, earlier here, here's the other funny thing um under under law of which well sorry you're physically there so yeah you're kind of under their law yeah um 
he can be held for 24 hours before he's charged. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So his ass is rotten in, rotten well, in a cell for 24 well, hours. What would be better is if they it. said that he was a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if it was true that they, had, they have no jurisdiction over him because he doesn't exist as far as they're concerned, yeah. he's also saying that anything they did to him, up to including just shooting him in the head, well, He'll be fine because he actually wasn't really there. If he's really assuming that they are of a different country than he is, his ass just got invaded. <laughs> and it was well, like the Mongols well, and China. Well, he got invaded. His ass didn't get invaded, <laughs> although that remains to be seen because we didn't see the prison footage. But, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's... <laughs> but I just love that. The guy... She just goes down hard. Uh, apparently, the, the term is they serve themselves sovereign citizens. Yeah, sovereign yes. citizens. Yeah. So if 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 you happen to be around a courtroom and that is happening and you're not inside the courtroom, so therefore it is lawful to record, record that shit and put it on YouTube because that guy, he's got a lot of hits. <laughs> so... And nobody sympathizes with them. No, of course not. <laughs> so. Oh, and the FBI does classify them as domestic terror threats. Yes. So they are, you know, they are considered terrorists. Terrorists. So. Are considered domestic terrorists? Yep. So we should ship their ass off to 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 Guantanamo Bay. Twice. Yes. So, Three times okay, so this guy you could just be like, hey, sovereignist dude, Osama bin Laden, Osama bin Laden, sovereignist dude. Yeah. Converse. <laughs> <laughs> like, sovereignist dude, Osama bin Laden, Osama bin Laden, fish, fish, sovereign. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> Nemo. Well, I just watched something where they, uh, they, they, they went to where Osama bin Laden was currently. And I think it was Daily Show or something. Yeah. And uh, uh, Osama bin Laden was sitting next to uh, uh, SpongeBob Square. SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> he was working at the Krusty Krab. So I just I just thought that was great because I, I love to see douchebags get their due. Yes, and it it is official. I would rather be on a two year space flight in a ten by ten room with Snooky than one of those people. Yeah, because uh, it's that, not hard. That, that, that's like being stuck in like uh, uh, being stuck with somebody who's just like like the the kid. kid Man, do you like the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I like the Tin Man. That's right. no. I'm thinking. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sorry, we're we're all uh, yeah. You're all busy. You know, you can carry I, the show while we have I'm our. Not, I'm not. I'm not going to go to the obvious remarks here. Those being, those being, okay. The fat you guys have mint. You Oreo. guys have your milkshakes, and hey, I got the gun show here. You know, <laughs> there's a difference. Yeah, I don't do milkshakes. Milkshakes like taste better. Yes, yeah. Uh, I guarantee I in this town. If you did free milkshake show or a gun show, more people show up to film free milkshake show. Probably. Possibly with guns. Probably. But they would show uh, up for a free milkshake. I don't know, boys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sensing that the next show is going to turn into some kind of intervention. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Google Hangouts, man. You, you're gonna you're gonna show up, and there's gonna be 75 people in this hangout. And <laughs> e intervention. An e, an I intervention. Well, see, that doesn't matter, cause right, cause I'm a sovereign there it is. citizen. There it is. There it is. There's there's our million dollar app right there. Copyright right now. Trademark. I intervention. Yeah, we just can t uh, combine. Uh, go to meeting and uh, FaceTime. Or I confession. <laughs> there is already an I confession. I hate um, to tell okay, you. Uh, yeah, exactly. I intervention. I intervention. This is it. The Catholic Face Church time. is already um, yes. trademarked I confession. Okay. okay. All right. I intervention. 
You do FaceTime with it, right? Yeah. We do we do the FaceTime thing, and then it's like I I'll be like, okay, let me see your room, and they turn the thing around so I could see their room, and I'd be like, you have too much shit, get rid of some. It'd be like eye hoarders. Yes. Which, funny enough, sounds like IHOP. IHOP do, sounds good. We, can, we, we want can, IHOP we after can, we get... I can send the wife out for IHOP. IHOP is always Do we need good. pancakes? I saw pancakes. A, I saw a stupid friggin' app on Amazon the other day where it was just pictures of people that were showing plumber's crack, and they set it up so you could flick coins into the thing. Stupid! You know stupid what? app. There's I, one where the cow, you, you download it, you push it, it's a picture of a cow. You push it, and the cow go moo. <laughs> that's all the app well, does. Well, that's okay. Uh, they, they this person a, making money off of this. They had an app called Paper Toss, all right, mm -hmm. where you just, basically you flick your finger and you're throwing a wad of paper into a trash can. You know, and there's different obstacles. Like at one point, there the trash can's further away. At one point, there's a, fa a rotary fan that you have to, you know, figure out the angle and when to hit it. Now, to go along with what was uh, keeping Mike occupied before the show, they have paper toss with friends. No, <laughs> it is no way. Yes, they do. It's it's a paper toss with friends, and it's a competitive paper toss game. <laughs> I, no, competitive no, paper no, no, toss. No. Yes. No, 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 no. And and just to fill everybody in, before the show, I was playing Scramble with friends on my tablet. And I was commenting about how I had to stop playing words with friends because it wasn't taking words that are in the Scrabble dictionary. Right. Which to me right. is the end all be all for any word game. If it's in there, it should count. Wouldn't take yeah. the word Jew. And that's it's what? that's not a that's not a derogatory term. It's a verb. Yes. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take the is a verb. Didn't Jew you see school ties? Yeah, verb. as in as in you know to Jew someone down. Yes, I, I to get a better deal. Yes, Goose, I understand that. You know. Okay. So, but anyway, regardless, it wouldn't take that. It won't take the word Norse. N O R S E, as in Norse god, as in Thor, as in as an adjective. As in crack, crack of thunder, you know, Norse is a mythology. It yeah, will take Greek. Yeah. Greek is a mythology. Well, I want to take Norse. But it takes the word za, X-A. No shit. Yeah. Norse? Okay, Jew, fine. It won't take fag, but it takes gay. It will take tit. About seven different meanings. It will take tit, as in tit for tat, but it takes the word shit. It takes the word shat, as in shit previously. Yes. <laughs> shit in the past tense. <laughs> you past tense of shit. But it will not take not, you. In fact, there's, there's, a, there's a helper, like a, a, like a, a power-up kind of thing called inspiration, where it will... It will give you three words that you haven't found yet. I swear yeah. to God, in the game, this is what stumped me. In the game I was playing, I look, uh, shit, really? You're telling me to find shit. <laughs> but you well, won't take you. Well, I, okay, so if shat is the past tense, what is the future tense? You know, the to be. <clears throat> to shit. To shit. Yes, to shit. It's not shite? Or shite? No, it takes shite. Yes. It takes shite. Shite technically is not English. Well, XA is technically Chinese through Portugal. It takes what? L and La. Chinese through Portugal? It's from the Portuguese cha, which is come which originally comes from Chinese, and it means tea. As in the drink. Okay. It takes Thai as in Thai O. T A E. Uh, no. 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 Well, I, I tell you what. We are Apparently, going to take... Scrabble with Friends is is run by sovereignists. <laughs> I I no longer accept your words in my language in my nation of myself. 
I reject your reality and, and substitute, substitute my, my own. own. Yes. All right. So with that said, we're going to give you some time to Cookie. look up some new words. No, I got because uh, we're going to take a break. According according to my app, it this is a pee time. It's a pee time. That's right. It is a pee time, and uh, we'll be back in just a few. So everyone, please stay tuned. You meet on the moors, a man someone down the pub told you about. You say the code word, give him the special hand signal, three rubs, and the deal is done. You're buying a used condom. After all, it was cheaper, and the man did say he'd washed it. But how do you know? Just think of where it's been. Even if you know the man... Never buy a used condom. <laughs> and uh, this show is already, it's going way better than one I did once where they brought up all the comedians to music that I guess they thought was appropriate to our backgrounds. Like a black gentleman went on before me, which brought up to hip hop, which is cool. I, being Jewish, brought up to the Price is Right theme song. And <laughs> I found that offensive, though not inaccurate. So... We've had it rough, is all. We've had it rough. I have some distant cousins that got sent to one of these pyramid schemes, you know, building them in Egypt. <laughs> so, so, too soon? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, I do think the Jewish Messiah is coming soon, though. I think it's got to be an octopus. Because that's the only thing that'll really make sense for us to crucify on the Jewish star. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he can light the whole menorah at once, already walks on water. It's perfect, everybody. <laughs> Plus, he's already seafood, much like the Jesus fish. Doesn't even have to strand substantiate if you want to eat your Messiah, which I hear is important to some. And do you guys think that Jesus would have used waterfalls as, like, a Stairmaster? <laughs> we both have aquatic saviors, everybody. <laughs> wow. No, no, no. Oh, no. green screen. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, everybody. Now, this is important because the metro area right here, 62 <laughs> degrees, a yeah. little bit of clouds, but don't let that keep you from going outside and having a good day and praising the Lord because today is Tuesday, which might not be the Lord's day in your home, but in our home, every day is the Lord's day. Now, the humidity is 60%. That really won't affect you at all, and neither will this, pollen. Unless you're, uh, you know, the kid that has the pollen problem. Elm, grass, <laughs> ragweed, maybe you're allergic to peanut butter. Maybe you got big problems with them. I'm allergic to penicillin. I still go outside to make a living. Zanies tonight, 7 o'clock. Now, this is today's heat temperature profile. See the bell curve here? The 84 is really ruining it for the rest of the class. The 63 is dumb as a bag of hair. We got to kick out the 73. Toss the 80, you got yourself a 77 degree day. That's all. Oh my gosh, breaking it down my county. Clarksville, let me hear you, Clarksville. Right here. Dixon, holler. Let me switch over here. Oh, 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 Crossville. You know, it's really the same. I like how you put up an entire graphic with a two temperature degree difference. Like, it's kind of wacky in Dixon at 63. It's not 61 like it is in Clarksville. Here's a bunch of gray business happening right here. This is really just someone's uh, sonogram of their brain right here. Oh, my God, it's Ren! Ren! Build an arc! Here it comes all the way from Kansas City. Does anything good happen in Kansas City ever? Look at all the rain. They're just spitting at us through St. Louis, under the arches, right into Nashville. But you know what? That's going to miss us entirely. It's going to be a beautiful day for some football out the street with your, with your friends and family. And... Uh, there's an, where am I going? There's an odd uh, right. contraption happening here. It's a good day to have balloons at a used car lot right here. You can have these streamers at your new business. And if you go to a hospital with revolving doors, make sure you move briskly through the revolving doors because you will be a big fat fire hazard. But down here, you'll see it's just some nice graphics. They really do a good job in the graphics department here. This is your eight hour forecast. It's 69 now because it's cooler because it's morning time, right? And then as the sun goes higher in the sky, it gets warmer. Now, this is second grade stuff, but I'm going to break it down for you. As the sun goes up, the temperature gets hotter. And then at the end of the day, guess what happens? It gets cooler again. Look, 84, 80. You know why? Because it's nighttime. Dinner time. Ding, ding, ding. Come on, get it. Tony peanut butter. It's all been recalled. 
Hey, look at that. <laughs> it, might, it might even rain Thursday. It might rain Friday. I'm going to say, you know what? 30% chance it rains. But you know what? I'm going to give you my word, Nashville. It's not going to rain this weekend. It's not going to rain this weekend. Come see Jay Moore at Zany's Comedy Club. Doors open at 530. Shows are at 7. Look at my belly now. <laughs> Every bu oh, we're done? All right. Okay. Thank you, boss man. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we are back. I don't know if you saw a mic because I got a big thing that says, not responding! I wasn't on your class, I know! It never what? happened. What happened? Oh, there you are! All right, web browser didn't crash. It's just goofy. Sometimes, maybe. Firefox. Oh, and it's we're not responding again, but it'll come back, I bet. Maybe. Uh, there, oh, there he is. Firefox. Hi, Mike. Firefox is back. All right. So, uh, yeah, Firefox went on break, and we did. Um, so we, we played a, a bit from our feature comedian, and then we also... <laughs> uh, we, we also played... Uh, they, uh, let's see, I think it was a British PSA. We, we played a British PSA. This is what healthy people snack on. Right here. Five what? or one brownies. Oh, see, Firefox no, 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 doesn't no, no. agree with you because it's <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Normal people do not snack on that. Old people snack on that. All right. So, uh, Mike, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay. Well, we can still hear you. We just can't see you. So hopefully you can see <laughs> oh, uh, Life is crazy. Um, so, all right. I'm going to re-enter your hangout, Mike. So just stay right there. <laughs> oh, wait. There it is. It came back all of a sudden again. All right. So, uh, yeah, so we have to threaten it with closure. Something is fucked up because ev only every other time it's switching to me. Oh. Okay. That, that's odd. That's yeah, really odd. It very well could be because you're playing music and I'm not talking loud enough. You fuck. You just left the hangout. You fucking fuck. This is, this is stupid. This is what happens when they eat milkshakes. Let's see if we can get back. And there's Mike again, and now he's eating chips. And no, it's we... not chips. It's fiber one brownie. Fiber one brownie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us need help with our bowels, and others of us don't. Chocolate chip fiber one brownie. It tastes like a big chocolate chip cookie. I'd have to eat the whole box. You milkshake eating motherfuckers, you. Look at you. There's, there's Can I just tell you how I I just gotta show you. Here. You, well, okay. Shut the fucking music off for a minute, please. Okay, sorry about that. Please. Okay. I just have to show you. Real close here. Let's see if you can see that. Do you see that gash on my finger? How I almost lost a finger here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many stitches did you have to get for that? Were you I didn't trying get to eat any milkshake? stitches? No. I replaced the pull down stairs from my attic this weekend. Oh, don't do that. And the attic stairs decided they wanted to fight back. Ow. <laughs> they, they thought that they were in National they, Lampoon's Christmas vacation. They, they? Almost, they almost won. It looks like they, they got they won round one. Well, that's that's only part of it. That was like at the tail end. And no, I did not get any stitches. It's but it's it's a good eighth of an inch deep. That's gonna be a hot score. No doubt. <laughs> but a hot scar. <laughs> Yeah, because you're really going know. for the ladies now. Yeah, you're not going to be able to Whoa, see it, whoa, 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 got, whoa. Whoa, God. I got this gash on my back that I thought I was going to need stitches for because the ladder I, I put in is aluminum as opposed to wooden. Yeah. And I was climbing down off the step ladder, and apparently I'm a little more diesel than I remember because I couldn't fit. And the edge of the new ladder caught my back as I was stepping off the bottom step. 
Oh. Uh, so not only did I have the the sharp aluminum edge, but I had gravity working against me. Oh, that's not good. Don't don't have gravity work against you. Always work with gravity. This is one of the few times that I got hurt and was like screaming, and Kim did not laugh. Yeah. Here. Okay. This happened since the last show too. I think. I tell you about the damn bird. <clears throat> No, what's no. the matter? With, what's, what's going on with the bird? Uh-oh. Bird decided he won't get a little attitude with me last oh, week. No, bird. did you have to let the smack down? Oh, I almost did and didn't realize it. Bird was Bird and I were hanging out watching Fringe. You know, <laughs> eight man and, just smack a bitch. Yeah, and birds. I'm laying on the bed in the spare room watching Fringe, and birds hanging out on the bed and starts pecking at my toe. I'm like, hey, stop that! And I had a, a red Gatorade that I was drinking. I'm drinking that, and Bird decided he wanted some. And I told him no. I put the Gatorade down. Motherfucker bit my lip. Oh, no. (laughs) Smack him. You ever get bit on the lip by a bird? (laughs) No. Uh, I can honestly say no. That has never happened to me, and I'm quite happy. It is, however, on my bucket list. Yes, it is. I never thought I'd say it either, but guess what? Fucking bird decided he wanted to. He drew blood. He's a vampire bird you now. <laughs> oh my god! It's the beginning of the birds. <laughs> it's just, oh, you need it, a few more birds. It, was, it just was not cool. Was he calling his friend birds? I know what it was. I know exactly what it was. He was protesting on behalf of Sesame Street and Quite PBS. Possibly. Quite possibly. I may have to rename the bird Jordy. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Fringe, real quick, I got to say, Fox has been developing a lot of goodwill with me the last several years. The way they keep letting the shows who did, really don't get the, the ratings they should actually finish. Well, well wait. They completely whoa, killed whoa. Terranova off. Yeah. Terra, Terranova got... Okay, Terra Nova, uh, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Yeah. yeah. Dollhouse was rushed. Yeah, but it still finished. Uh, you could say that what, about anything. What, was it finished, or did they finish the season? No, they no, finished. I mean, they they they, they, they threw they together. It. They threw together an ending. Yeah, but uh, still, I see too many networks that just don't finish shows. Period. And yes, there's a lot that Fox hasn't been, just like everybody else. But at least of Dollhouse and Fringe, they at least got a full story out of them. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe. Um, so we, we teased it before uh, the break, and I just want to go ahead and put it out there. The, the comedian which we are going to have on for the next live show is Mike Kaplan. It's M Y Q K A P L A N. Mike Kaplan. And I'm going, I'm going to confess something here. Yes. When I saw the emails back and forth, I had no idea who he was. Uh huh. I went to his website in the first hour when you were talking about him, and uh-huh. was shocked to find out he was white. <laughs> Well, that'll be a question for the interview. How many times have you been mistaken for a black man? <laughs> I will be interested in seeing his answer for that, hearing his answer. And to find out that he lives in Jersey, you know, I guess it kind of makes sense. But you know, well, he, where where he was it, born in Jersey, it, I get. You know, is but, that yeah. a popular Jersey Jew spelling of Michael? No. No, it's 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 just. It's just his name, M Y Q. Okay. And I'm not I'm not trying to make fun of him. I'm just being I'm being honest here. Yeah. Did not expect that. Now, honestly, I'm going to ask everybody's opinion. Did you think that I could pull a guest that high profile? No. I mean, I know we've pulled high profile people, but did, Nate, what did you think that I could pull that? It's just the icing on the cake so far. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly was not expecting it. I'm so, not gonna lie. I was expecting you to pull like Randy Watson. <laughs> maybe maybe the maybe the local headliner of the uh of the of the funny bone here. 
you know, maybe maybe that's who I'd pull and, and say a real, real recognized comedian. But no, we're, we're having a bona fide star. Absolutely. Uh, we we would have had him for this week, but unfortunately, timing just didn't work out. And then um, he's gone to Canada for this week, and I really didn't want to try and pull an international call. So we're waiting until he gets back home, and uh, and we're going to do the call now. So it'll be interesting to see. So I expect everybody to study up so that you are prepared for the interview. Because okay. just like the Run P one, we want this to be epic interview. Because Run P was great. Dan from Run P was wonderful. Yes, yeah, he really was. was. You know, um, definitely speaking, ranks in our top five interviews. Yeah, considering we've had three, uh, definitely in the top five. <laughs> uh, so, our our winner, Matt Henricks. Yes. Okay. Uh, of the wonderful box of randomness, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I posted. He was he was good enough to send us pictures of all of his uh, his prizes, his his wonderful stash. Oh crap! And uh, so when he was emailing me the pictures, he said, "Hey, I'm starting up a." Po- or actually, before I sent the package out, he goes, "Hey, I'm starting up a podcast. What do I need?" And I said, "Well, uh, a lot, because he had nothing." So one of the things that I made sure to include was some old microphone cables that we were not using, uh, you know, to, to help him along his way. Well, he has he has put out two episodes of uh, of their show, and so far they are recording it off of a laptop microphone. Like literally, they a set what? a laptop on a table, turned on the onboard mic, and he has like four people sitting around it talking. <laughs> on a laptop microphone. On a laptop microphone, so it is worse than the first PTR show. So he's doing speakerphone podcasting. Yes, <laughs> exactly. But he is giving PTR credit. I'm not sure that we want credit for inspiring this particular show, okay. but we are getting credit. There, what What is the content of said show? Uh, for the first show I've listened to, it's mostly about Resident Evil 6. Okay. It's, it's a lot of gaming stuff. Okay. Uh, but but I do want to say, um, you know, it was one of the weirdest dedications I have ever heard. Because he said that he wanted to thank PTR Radio and all the things that we give back. And as I as I heard that, I'm thinking... I don't know what we give back. Where is our benefit to society with this particular show? (laughs) Other than telling people about uh, Nintendo games that Big Sally Graziano's in, that even he won't buy, um, (laughs) what what exactly exactly are we giving? We say all of the things that people think but are scared to say. That's right, because we know we will never run for office. True. You know, it, it is impossible. None of us will ever run for an office. No. And uh, so that, that is, I think, what we give. Although I have to be honest with you, after the last debate, I thought to myself, I, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. 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 It, evidently, there is... Like they need another half a week to trudge through everything, on uh, on on the on the Truther website, whatever in the hell it is. Oh yeah, fact yeah. checker. Fact checker, yes. Yeah, there were so many lies and stretches of the truth that it takes them extra time to figure out what it all was. <laughs> Between them and somebody introduced me inadvertently to uh, Politifact. Yeah, another one. I'm just like, really? Really? I don't know what's worse. You guys or the people that sit there and point out the 372 mistakes in Titanic? Yeah. <laughs> the ones that double-check physics on uh, superhero movies? Yeah. That's where these people rank in. We know politicians lie. It's kind of part of the job, from what I understand, is wow. lying. And stealing, and womanizing, and everything else. There's 
there's a difference between lying, not a big mm-hmm. difference, but there's a difference between lying, omission of the truth, and re conveniently restating facts. <laughs> Spins. Yeah, exactly. One of my favorite movies of all time. Thank you for smoking. Yes. I love I love what the guy says. He's like the beautiful thing about debate is whether you're right or wrong, you can always win. You don't have to prove that you're right. You just have to prove that the other person's wrong. <laughs> which, which on the same thing with politics and this, and this kind of two-faced people, has anybody heard about the main Senate candidate who is under fire for being a World of Warcraft person? Yes. Mm-hmm. I had I I missed that. What's the, the what's the deal? This is Colleen Lackowitz. Is uh, evidently she is a big fan of World of Warcraft, which a lot of people are. You know, yeah. it's, it's probably very, the most popular, popular online popular. game. Absolutely, yeah. history. Uh, mm-hmm. So her and, and she is a Democrat, um, but evidently her Republican. I, th- I think it's her Republican. Her Republican, uh, uh, yeah, her her, her Republican uh, counterpart thinks that this inherently makes her a bad choice for Senate. That the fact that she has an online fantasy persona okay. of an orc assassination rogue. All right, let's spin this. Well, the uh-huh. Warcraft guys stay up for 46 hours straight doing raids and stuff. I want somebody who has that kind of mental endurance in office so they can stick to a task until it's completed. And planning. Sleep. And planning. They plan these things out. Yes. You know? Um, and so they, they got some of the chat, uh, uh, chat stuff that had gone back and forth. Now, this one's from 2009. So this is a three-year-old quote that they're pulling, and it says, uh, uh, the, the Colleen says, so I'm a level 68 orc rogue girl. That means I stab things a lot. Who would have thought that a peace-loving social worker and Democrat would enjoy that? You know what? You are not stabbing people in real life. All right? This is a game so much like playing pong doesn't mean that you want to slap people back and forth uh world of warcraft also means that you are not necessarily going to go out and murder people on the streets for their gold i wonder what her stance on video games is (laughs) well Evidently, you can find out by going to Colleen'sWorld.com, and it has a whole bunch of listings of the quotes from the game that, that she's put on, as, as well as evidently captured screen grabs of her particular attacks and, and things like that. So they made her a dedicated gamer page. Okay. <laughs> and they Charlie. think this is a reason not to make her a senator. Yes. They get people going. Colleen killed my t- my uh, level two gnome just to s- just to spite me, <laughs> just as he exited the house for the very first time and said goodbye to to my parents. You know, <laughs> it's really, but I think it's going to backfire on him though. Should you vote for someone who has killed this many rabbits? <laughs> I I think that what they're going to do. Is get all the nerds and the computer geeks and the gamers, uh-huh, especially the exactly. female gamers, exactly. out there to vote for this woman because nobody knew this before. Holy shit! We got a politician that plays my game. You got my vote. Yeah, that's it, what it's going to come down to. She she's going to be our first female president. <laughs> she could, and I want to see her get. Uh, I I, I want to see the inauguration simulcasted in World of Warcraft. I want that to see would that, that would be epic. Fantastic. I want that to see her epic. character get get sworn in as well. People have people have gotten married on uh, you know Second Life and shit like that. Why can't we have an orc as the World of Warcraft president? Just think about how. Just think about the 
the how the savings for Maine, like instead of her having to travel, she's already used every, to commuting. Everyone, meet at the Guild Hall. <laughs> Transport to the Guild Hall on this server. We're wow. meeting there at, at eight p.m. I've already <laughs> got the agenda. The raids planned. Let's do this. We're going after the Republican minority in the House. <laughs> That's how they'll. That's how they'll do votes in the House who, and the Senate now. Do you know who else stands to benefit from this? World of Warcraft. Well, World of Warcraft, yeah, Blizzard Entertainment, which is the company that makes World of Warcraft, but mm -hmm. AT and T. Why? Um, I I don't see the connection here. And just just for the record. I am an employee of AT&T, and my opinion does not necessarily reflect that of the company. Um, yeah. Because, well, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> because but it, people, sounded, it sounded good. People are playing it over DSL, and DSL comes from AT&T. Yes. Oops, there's a connection. Thank you. So, That's where uh, I was going with it. There you go. And if they ever get fiber, more people will be playing it. So, oh hey, speaking of fiber, <laughs> you enjoying your? Is, is that brownie working on you already, or what? <laughs> no, no. Well, now I'm finishing off my almonds. But no, now, how many almonds do you get today? What, what is this Google Fiber? Oh, uh, Kansas City, right? Mm -hmm. That's where they offered it. Yes. Ninety-eight percent adoption rate. Adoption rate. One hundred megabit connection. For seventy dollars a month. There's a question. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's twenty dollars more get, than what I'm paying with Comcast. You can get, I think, ten megabit connection for free. Yes, I believe you can. I, I, I think you are right. I think it's free for like the first year. Uh, and Whatever. Then and then it's like uh, forty or fifty dollars. But who the hell cares? You know, I will gladly, gladly. Rent the installer's space in my garage and my basement to sleep while they install fiber in my neighborhood for Google. Come to my neighborhood. We need this. It, it's it's just it is what internet should be. Here's here's my big issue. Is that the the reality is the fiber is the cheap part. Right. Right. Well, and, and that's what they're saying. If you, if you sign up for a two-year contract, there is no installation and no equipment cost. If you don't, then it's $300? Something stupid, ridiculously low for the install and the equipment. Well, actually, 300 is, <clears throat> excuse me, 300 is actually a little bit right. high. Well, but for figure a, a residential, how much do do people pay to have Comcast come in and actually install internet? If you Nothing. have to pay, no. Now they're charging. They Comcast started charging for installs, and any time that a technician has to come into your house, they will now charge you. Minimum fees like fifty bucks. When did this start? No, three four months ago, I think something like that. No. Yeah, it, it, it might be different different areas. I don't know, but that's okay. it is happening. It is starting to happen. So, you know, I don't care about a cost. I really don't. I, I mean, I'm going to go for the two-year contract if it's given to me anyway because as soon as I get that kind of service, I'm not going away from it. Well, well right. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the 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 caveat to this entire scenario is, yeah, they're giving you a hundred megabit connection over fiber, for seventy dollars a month, but in the end, it is Google. Okay. You think that internet connection is that entire city's internet connection isn't going to be data mined to hell? I don't care. Granted, there is a there is a part of me that doesn't care. Granted, I understand this. I could care less too. But it is something that needs to be thought about if, and needs to be said. If anyone thinks that their data is private, they are living a lie. Why? Because Shaggy reads your email. That's right. No, it's, it's just uh, they have to make money somehow. Everybody has to make money somehow. 
it, it's like the thing that pisses me off the most about YouTube is every it seems like every other video I click on now I have to watch an entire ad I can't just yeah. skip yes. it after five seconds and it's getting really freaking annoying but I understand they have to make money yes you know so that's what happens but let me watch like five ads in a row and give and, me an hour I think yeah exactly um, or now, at least let me give me a choice of an ad if I have to see one more goddamn Kotex commercial because I'm wa I want to yes. watch Gangnam Style, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. <laughs> There's one thing I like about Hulu, you know that ad Taylor they you, where they ask they you. let you pick. I, you I like the ads where it comes up. They say, "Okay, watch this ad and answer like a couple questions to prove that you actually watched the ad, and then we'll let you watch the rest of it without ads anymore." Yes, that's that's awesome. I'll I'll do that all day. Um. Now to or, or tell me tell me how long the ad's going to be up front because yeah. I clicked on one the other day and it was a, a, a th it was actually a, a the mini webisode that I had to watch this wasn't on YouTube this was actually like uh, for one of the games that I play on Facebook it was right. like a five minute webisode of of like a high school football training camp sponsored by Dick Sporting Goods and I'm like really. I, you know what? I don't want to play the game that bad. <laughs> Click. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and now they're putting them like it used to be at the beginning of the episode, so no, you know, not a big deal. You know, once you get through it, you get through it. But now they're starting to throw those ads in like 15 seconds into the clip. So it's like you you watch a little bit of the video. They're breaking the clip up now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Hulu, if you're listening, um. It might behoove you not to do the final commercial break right before the damn credits of a show. <laughs> Since because... nobody watches the credits anyway. Exactly. At that point, it's like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, give him credit for doing that. Why? Nobody's going to watch the credits. Because nobody's going to watch the credits, and you got through the end of your show without, get, without having to watch that last commercial before the last 30 seconds of the show. I don't know. It, it, Give him credit for putting uh, that putting that at the end. I ain't, I ain't giving him and credit not forcing you to go through it. I don't have to give him credit for nothing in the nation of Mike. <laughs> That's right, because he is sovereign. No, um, we we talked about Big Big Sal a little bit ago. Getting back onto a topic which is on the white sheet here, um, and and wrestling, and sovereign Simeon. What wrestler would you like to see least in a homemade sex film? Uh, can, can he be dead? Uh, he could be. Yeah, sure. Go Kamala. <laughs> Nate, any any suggestions from you? I'm gonna go with the uh, heart brother that fell from the. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm the heart brother that fell from the scaffolding. All right. Maybe. Well, in his current state, Kamala well, uh... is a 300 pound black man, and that's after they amputated both of his feet. <laughs> amputated both I am, his feet. I am going to tell you right now. The man had diabetes, and he had to They had to amputate both his feet. I, I don't need to see that. <laughs> I, I am going to tell you right now that the three and a half minute teaser clip that Gawker put up of the thirty-eight minute long video is enough to make me not want to watch the rest of the video. It is Hulk Hogan. Oh, in a dude. homemade sex tape. Hulk Hogan, the original Leatherface. Oh my God. Oh, and it's a black. Okay, it's a black and white video. But you can see the 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 grayscale difference in his pasty white ass so clearly. <laughs> it's like it's like spray tan, spray tan, spray tan. White ass, spray tan, spray tan. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm ashamed that I'm ashamed to know you right now. <laughs> well, I, that you would he, even point something like that out. I'm just he's he's center in the video most of the time, so you can't help but see it. Um and everybody knows the girl in the video, and everyone knows the guy who's videotaping. It is not difficult to figure out if you have ever heard the show. But for those of you that don't know. One of Hulk Hogan's best friends is called Bubba the Love Sponge. His, his, his actual name now is Bubba Clem. All right? Now, he was recently divorced, uh, and 
it appears like the <laughs> like the like the sex tape was recorded while he was still married to his then wife Heather. And Bubba starts out filming it, and you hear him off camera say, "Do your thing. I'm gonna go down to my office." That. There's just something so wrong about this entire situation. Yeah. And 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 you do realize of... that I'm an hour ahead of you guys. <laughs> so when the show is over, I got to try and sleep. <laughs> and you're putting this fucking image in my head? Really? Well, really? I, if really? you click on the Gawker link, you the can only actually thing watch that, the video. No, the only thing <laughs> that can really make this worse evening. is if you told me that the woman in it was Mama from Honey Boo Boo. That's no. the only oh, way that that would make God. them worse. I, yeah, see, go ahead. Will, try and sleep now, bastards. Go ahead. I will tell you, I will tell right. you right now. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I will tell you right now, the, the woman in the video is nothing to scoff at because she is far from a, uh, from a, a heifer. Uh, hey, Mike. Hulk Hogan's pasty white ass. Let's see here. Um... Honey, boo boo, child, mama, lap dance on you. Yeah, here is Let's drink her go go juice and for those in go -go. the studio. Ew. Here is a picture of what Hulk was doing. That shit ain't real. No, it's it's not real. I I know it's not real because they discussed it. But that is amazing. And that is a wonderful doctor. That's all right. That is that is. That is that is okay. Yeah. And if you if you want to see what we are seeing, just uh, do a Google image search for Heather Clem. It is is that a relationship to Bubba Clem? That was his wife. So Hulk Hogan did that. Bubba Clem's wife. Yes. While Bubba While they were married. filmed. Yes. Wow. He did that. Um, mm hmm. Good. Good for Hulk. At least he's got good taste. He definitely, yeah, yeah. The sad thing about the whole I, situation, I, I though. Can't, can't deny that. What? V, as in there's only one. Well, okay. The most sad thing about the whole situation. That would be saddest. As, as, majors. as the as the video s comes to a close, the, the the trailer, not the trailer, but the snippet piece that I saw, the last like minute and a half of this three minute trailer is all about Hulk saying how he feels like a pig because he ate a half an hour before this romp. What? It's all a Hulk degrading himself that he feels fat and ugly. Because he had a big meal before his happy time. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty disturbing. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if, if you want to see something that you can't unsee, uh, check, out that, uh, check out Gawker for that, and you'll be able to see it. And I'd want to do that. Why? Uh, sometimes... Sometimes you have to see the wreck to appreciate how good your life is. <laughs> so that's, that's and why sometimes I you just uh, drive by, right by that wreck going, nope, i got better things to not see. On another site that I found while I was cruising around called brobible.com, this one looks like it could be a regular source for us. Uh-huh. It's the 10 craziest things you didn't know about Master Bro Bill Murray. If you're going to tell us that he had sex with Hulk Hogan, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> number one, Bill Murray once had sex with Hulk Hogan. No, that's not number one. Uh, Bill Murray is so famous, he doesn't have an agent anymore. What? He has a 1-800 number that you call and pitch ideas to. And then he will listen to the voicemails on the 800 number. And if he likes it, if he likes the idea, he will call you back. Shaggy, how many times have you called? I haven't yet, but I'm going to try and get that number. Okay. 
I really want to just leave a voicemail knowing that Bill Murray is going to have to listen to it. <laughs> I, I, I have to get that number now. <laughs> uh, he played the Human Torch on Fantastic Four, the radio show. Another thing I, you didn't know about Bill Murray. I didn't know there was a radio show of the Fantastic Four. Yep. Right. Um, he once broke uh, Robert De Niro's nose. Yes. Uh, he crashes NYC parties and dishes out fatherly <laughs> advice. I want to be at a party that Bill Murray just shows up at oh. out of nowhere. Well, who's going to tell him to leave? No one. He's Bill fucking Murray. No, I I know I do. He's Bill Come right in, sir. Murray. That's right. Would you like to bang Heather Clem while you're at it? <laughs> She's all yours. Uh, his three strikes in Kingpin were real. He resumed the role of go uh, from Ghostbusters to to make a terminally ill kid's last dream. Him, along with Dan Aykroyd, got dressed up in out, in Ghostbuster outfit and went to this uh, dying kid's, you know, make-a-wish thing. He wished he could meet the Ghostbusters. So that's cool. That's just cool. Mm -hmm. Very. Now, here's a what the hell would have happened if this would have come true. He was actually considered for the role of Han Solo. That's one of You're those what me. ifs. Yeah. Wow. That's the a world bad would be if. that the world would be such a different place. He not only auditioned he but he was seriously considered for the role. Just, just think if he played that like he played Groundhog Day. Oh, it would have been awesome. Well, I, actually, <laughs> I, I think we do have a, a way of knowing what that would be like, because Bill Pullman is kind of Bill Murray-ish. So if you watch Spaceballs. I, I think there'd be something what? like that. You know, I, I see what Colin's saying. Bill yeah. Pullman is like the poor man's Bill Murray. Right. Yeah. So, so. if you watch Spaceballs, it's kind of what it'd be like to have Bill Murray's hands on. I can't imagine yeah, but, Star but, Wars being a comedy, though. But, but Bill, it would have been funny. But Bill Murray's never played the president. How, to, to how can tell Bill the, Pullman be a poor man's Bill Murray? To, to tell the Wookiee, don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. That would have been hilarious. He is the team psychologist for the St. Paul Saints or St. Paul Saints. I, I got lo I love the line of that one. Due to his extreme genius and inherent knowledge of mental health. <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah. Really now. <laughs> How badass would it be to work through your issues with the guy from Scrooged? <laughs> I want Bobcat Goldthwait with him. I want to be in oh, that pep God, talk. <laughs> no, no. And that right there is the first time that anybody said that name in years. Yeah. Uh, he headbutted the director of Charlie's Angels because he didn't like the way that the script was written. He was, he was busted with nine pounds of weed at Chicago O'Hare Airport. Not recently, mind you. This was when he was 20. Yeah, 1970. <laughs> when everybody he was, was walking around he was, with nine pounds weed. He was joking around with his buddy that he had two bombs in his suitcase. <laughs> and evidently, the airport security did not find that funny. <laughs> they found so, out it was two bongs. So they, they, they found 10 pounds of marijuana worth $20,000 at the time in his suitcase. Oops. So, yeah, it's a problem, I think. So, so those are, you know, ten things you didn't know about Bill Murray. And I, I, I like that list. That's great. That is, that is very cool. I, I just love how throughout his career, Bill Murray likes to just show up in movies. Like you're, you're watching a movie and suddenly he just shows up. Like, that's, Bill Murray. That's kind of like, it's kind of like the approach that Will Ferrell has taken. I was going to say, him and Will Ferrell are so similar. Well, it's because they learned from Bill Murray as one of the few SNL actors who really made a success out of themselves. Everybody else tries to be Bill Murray. Yeah. And it works. 
I mean, because I could have seen Bill Murray as the coach in Blades of Glory. Yeah. And that would have been great. Although he he just as easily could have been Chaz Michaels Michaels. It, it, it could have been that. I mean, you see the pose on this particular thing, and I'm thinking that's almost the exact same pose. It actually looked like he's wearing some kind the, of... The outfit, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, some things that you didn't know about Bill Murray. Only here on PTR Radio. I found his manager's phone number. So we, well, he doesn't have an agent, though. No, so. he has a manager. Manager, not an agent. okay. Give me his cell phone number, then I'll be impressed. <laughs> I really, I want to know how these radio shows get a hold of people's cell phone numbers. You know, I know it takes a lot of digging and some bribery and some things like that, but it would be great if we could say, call up Spock and just shoot the shit with him on a Monday night. I want to call up, you know, I want to call up Vic Van P- Vic, blah, blah, blah. Dick Van Dick Patton. Van Patton. Vic Dan Patton? No, Dick Van Patton. I- I'd much rather talk to Dick Van Dyke. Okay, that would be great. You know, anybody. So, so Colin get to work on that. We need so we need celebrity cell phone numbers. Yeah. Speaking right. speaking of which, your favorite one of your favorite singers is in the news. Oh. Yes. Uh, and and Nate, I believe you and I both went to one of his concerts with Colin. Yes. When he was here for the fair, there is an online petition because that, was, that is always highly successful. That was probably one of the best concerts I've ever seen. Yeah, there is. I, an, I remember you guys were very skeptical when we I go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the National Football League uh, needs your help. Well, actually, people need your help to convince the National Football League of something. They want Weird Al Yankovic to perform at Super Bowl XLV two two. As the as the halftime show. As the halftime show. Yes. And if you think about it, he would be a safe show. Because now they're all about no more wardrobe malfunctions and, you know. The, no the, more bullshit. The Who was okay, but not great. The Who was know, boring. And, yeah, they, yeah, they need to hang it up. I'm sorry. So this petition already has 23,602 signatures. It only needs 976,000 more. Uh, so once they get a million signatures, uh, I don't know, someone still won't take it seriously. There, but, there's, there's a problem, though. They have already the booked the halftime show. And who's the halftime show? Gangnam Style. <laughs> No, they had no way. I would, I would, pay, I would pay money to see that. <laughs> they, they have, they and they're going to try and set a record for the largest public unison dance. Have the entire Super Bowl stadium doing the dance. I would rather watch Weird Al Yankovic perform. Well, yeah, but I have to say, I, I want to see Weird Al at. At the football game. That'd be great. I want to see Weird Al in the Jumbotron. Yes. I want to see Weird Al try and do all of his costume changes as quickly as he would need to for the halftime show. <laughs> Actually, I am suspecting it's going to be the Spice Girls. No. No way. They're not getting back together. They did for the Olympics. Okay, that's a little bit different. Um, it was in London, and they're all English. No, they're not. Are they? Yes. No, they're not. No, that's yes, a they lie. are. That's a lie. And besides that, the the lie. redhead, the redhead is banging Russell Brand now. Yeah. Oh God. And she's immensely <laughs> famous as a singer on her own. Which is which is terrible. <laughs> she still looks and, good and, though. And, and Baby she Spice. Baby Spice took to doing a I can't believe it's not butter commercial or or, or something like that. Yeah, and and we actually have a clip of uh, uh, the black girl. Who was she? What was she in? Scary. Scary Spice. I actually have a clip of her. She was recently on the news. Did did you hear about this? 
No, I just thought she's in Australia doing uh, X Factor. Yeah, the, she was on the news, and uh, here is here is a clip of her. Uh, they interviewed her on the news. Obama. You, you got Obama phone? Yes, everybody in Cleveland, no minority, got Obama phone. Keep Obama in president, you know? He what? gave us a phone. He gave you, you a phone. Do more. How do he give you a phone? You, you sign up if you're, you're on full stamps, you on social security, you got low income, you disability. I have a question. Okay, what's wrong with Romney again? Romney, he sucks. Hey! <laughs> oh, that was. Yeah, that was Scary Spice. I swear it was. I, I know I saw it in the, in the scary thing Spice somewhere. Scary Spice and her Obama phone. Yeah, and uh, she has the Obama phone. Mike, did you see this? No. Yes, it's, it's the Obama phone, which, which, by the way, we, we got a clip of the Obama phone in use. No, I'm avoiding anything political for the rest Thank of you. the Thank this, you. This is great. You'll like this? Yes. We, we got this exclusive to PTR Radio. There was a crisis. There was a crisis. We had to use the Obama phone. I don't know who he is behind that mask of his, but I do know when we need him. And we need him now. I'll call him, sir. We're in luck. He's at home. My resources are behind you and full. You're a real champion, Mr. Wayne. Indeed you are. Don't mention yeah, Mr. His name Harris. Wrong. Stop. Perhaps if they're different. <laughs> so, but, I mean, they pronounce his name wrong, but other than that, it, that's, that's the Obama phone in use. Okay, I have to say, I'm, I'm very excited that Iron Sky is coming out on DVD what this month. What the hell is Iron Sky? The Nazis on the moon. What? Huh? Not the Nazis on the moon. I, Seriously? I, I don't know of this. <laughs> Nazis on the moon? <laughs> is this a is this a remake of Moonraker? No. That I don't know about. No. I'm. Uh, send me a link. I'm, I'm sending you the link right now. Uh, I want Nazis on the moon. I've heard about. We seriously the didn't talk about this. No, we didn't talk about this. Oh my God. It's almost as bad as Illinois Nazis. Only moments ago, Illinois. New York has come under attack. Witnesses claim to have seen hundreds of UFOs. It's opening fire! Oh my god! Uh. Guys, anyway. Nazis from the moon. <laughs> That's too much. One word from me, and the invasion from the moon begins. Invasion? Y'all must be tripping. Now, my question is what do y'all plan to do about it? Because we just happen to have a little something up our own sleeve. <laughs> All presidents who start a war in their first term get reelected. Und wegen all diese Untermenschen von der Erdkarte. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is a seriously a movie? Yes. It sure looks like it. It's a and real I movie. Of, I want to see Nazis on the moon. Space Nazis. Space. I hate space Nazis. Yeah, I, I actually expect to see more of this because... Because everything is so politically correct, it has come to the point where the only politically correct enemy is Nazis. Now, the are you sure we didn't talk about this? Because this was actually... No, we didn't. I this, would remember Hitler on the moon. This, right. this movie... Yeah. Only slightly there, less memorable than Hitler on ice. Yes. There, there is a going joke that this movie actually is, or is based on the first draft of the... TV series V, because the aliens were originally supposed to be Nazis in V. And really? NBC said, "Yeah, we don't think that's going to fly. How about lizards?" <laughs> yeah, no Nazis. Yeah, maybe lizards. Uh, uh, really? Yes, this is a real movie. 
So it actually have, came out. It actually came out on DVD last week, last Tuesday. So really? So have you listened to the soundtrack for the movie yet? No, and I don't care. Well, I I, 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 have, just, I love the fact that they got a Sarah Palin lookalike to play the president. Yeah, right. That's absolutely that's absolutely genius. Genius. I I have a and a the fact that clip. they sent a ghetto ass astronaut to to the moon, and he's the one who find and the whole publicity thing about the uh, about the black astronaut is black to the moon. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's brilliant. Well, I I have some of the soundtrack for uh, for your movie. Here it is. It's Peppy. Tomatoes actually it, gives it thirty seven percent right now. It, the it, audience gives it forty two percent liked it. That's better than most direct the I bet you this gets better ratings than a Christmas story too. Oh my god. I found the sequel. They're already planning the sequel. And space C Jews and Space. space, 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 space. Now, now. I, I do have to say, we have to play this angle. We have to play this angle during the interview. <laughs> we have to bring up uh, we have, on the moon. We have to play that angle. Which, I mean, he, half of his act is that. It's just about being Jewish. We've got right. to see it now. We've got to play that angle. We, okay. So, we, yeah, so yeah. we've got a couple things to ask him. And, and just for the have, record, I'm now searching for this movie. Okay. So, so, so we have to know. I all right. Sky. Uh, yeah, it's called Iron Sky. So, so we have to know how many times he's been confused for a black man, uh, for Mike, <laughs> and then we have to know if, uh, if his he's worried about invasion from the dark <laughs> side of the moon of of Hitler. Okay, actually, here's the funniest thing I found out about it. Yes, it is available. Yes, when this movie was distributed in Finland, sweet, it Finish. was distributed by Walt Disney Studios. Yes, <laughs> awesome. The, the, the awesome. funny thing is, in, in, in my uh, method for searching, yes. the uh, vast majority of vast majority of these, uh, uh, yeah, they're all in German. They're, well, it makes Go sense. Go figure. Okay. It's Hitler on the moon. Now, let, let's, let's jump to, while we're on the movie topic, let's, let's go back to the white yeah. sheet here. Uh -huh. You had a link, the, the, the 10 best appearances by Satan. Oh, in God, the this, this prompted me to watch the movie today, too. Yeah, I, so, I had to watch the movie. We're gonna start at number ten and work our way back. Agreed? Uh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Number ten was in South Park. Bigger, longer, uncut. Yeah, that was a great appearance by Satan, by the way. I yes. Love Satan in that one. So yes, Satan and uh, Hussein. Yes. Number, number nine, nine. I feel is wrongly. Low on this list. Okay. This is in the movie Legend. Yes. The devil is in Legend. Tim Curry was phenomenal. You don't even know it's Tim Curry. No, there's no way you could tell from all that makeup that Tim, it was Tim Curry. Tim Curry is typically phenomenal in just about everything. I mean, the man wore fishnet tights in Rocky Horror Picture Show. He and was he this, and, and and Clue. He was great in Clue. Oh, he made Clue. It was great, great movie. All right, number eight, The Prophecy. Viggo Mortensen played Aragon, one of the most proclaimed good guys of all times, but the guy can also lay it down as a living embodiment of pure evil. So yes, uh, The Prophecy was number seven. Uh, all right, that was number, number that eight. was number eight. Uh, in uh, seven. Now, I did see pieces of this movie. It's Constantine with Keanu Reeves in it. That was, it was that kind was of an actually, interesting movie. 
better than I thought it was going to be. It yeah. was a little bit weird. It was weird, and the fact that it's the Russian guy from Bad Boys 2 and the Russian cosmonaut from uh, Armageddon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he actually played a pretty good part. He did. So we got uh, uh, Angel Heart with uh, was Robert De Niro. I don't think I've seen that movie. That's number six. And then uh, number five. Uh, Jack Nicholson and the Witches of Eastwick. He looks sick yeah. in that movie. Now, <laughs> I, have ne- I, I have not seen any of these movies. You've seen the next one, though. Mike, go ahead with the next one. Uh, the next one is Harvey Keitel in Little Nicky. Which was great. I'm so- he was wonderful. That was a great movie. I, You know, honestly... This is one of them that I haven't seen. I own it on DVD. I haven't watched it. You've never watched Little Nicky? Oh, that's great. It's a great show. Got to watch it. Number three, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. That one I have seen. That was awesome. I did not. I did not know that that was Dave Grohl. Doesn't surprise me. That just makes it more awesome. And then, Mike, who's number two? Oh, God. You would throw it to me for this one. Yeah, I am. Because oh. I'm busy right now. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Hurley in the, oh. in the remake of the movie Bedazzled. Oh. I, I had to watch this show. I had to watch it today because I saw this. Oh, I saw this, and I'm like, oh, i got to watch this. This is a wonderful movie. Yeah. The, Just want to see her. Lesson learned from that movie? Somebody grant you three wishes? Don't wish for... Big Mac and fries. It was Seven Wishes. I know that because I watched it today. And uh, not only that, but ask Elizabeth Hurley to wear leather more often. <laughs> in any movie she does. Don't care. Great in it. I mean, th- she was in that mo- in a bad movie with Dennis Leary called Dog. And, the yeah. only, and it's one of those movies that if you, just, you put it on and just mute it. Because yeah. you, don't, you don't need plot. You don't oh. need dialogue. You just have... Her. Oh, by the way, I was watching this today, and I had to pause it in slow motion because at one point you see Kitty Cat. Yes, you do, my friend. You do. When she is walking around the desk in the dress, which is slit up to her waist in the front. I think you wanted to see it, but anyway. No, I think it was there. <clears throat> or lack anyway. of it was there. All right, and the number one... I've seen pieces of this movie. I never watched it all the way through. It's uh, Al Pacino in The Devil's Advocate. Great movie. And the reason this gets number one is no one can rant like Pacino. Oh, no. No, him in Scent of a Woman was great. Absolutely. That was a wonderful movie, too. If you haven't watched that one, Mike, watch it. Good good flick. I I, I saw that, but it was a long time ago. Yeah. So this one is definitely missing from this list for me. Yeah? What is it? I'm busy looking at Elizabeth Hurley. That would be George Burns. Oh, God. Yeah. And, oh, God, you devil. Yes. What, uh, that's the one where he plays the devil, yes. Yes. And uh, Well, the devil made great. a cameo in every one of them, but just a very fast one. Yeah. And he played both sides. Yeah. Well, yeah, you have to. But it was, it was great. Uh, it, was, it was a good movie. It's a good. Mo- I'm, I'm surprised they haven't remade that one. To tell you the truth, that's, that's a good point. It's screaming for a remake. Who who would you have replaced George Burns though? Do, who would you? Why would why would you remake a Christmas story? They don't do it because it makes. Well, sense. They didn't they remake it. it they made they a can. sequel. Well, yeah. Whatever. But the the problem here is you got two stars of Oh God. The two main stars are both dead. Yeah. That's Doesn't John, matter. So John you got gone. John Denver. John Denver. So you got to replace Ritter's him. Gone too. Well, yeah. But okay, who would you who would you get to replace George Burns? Uh, I'm 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 out of thoughts right now. Yeah, because I I yeah. You'd probably they'd probably get Chris Rock. To tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
They would. <laughs> so, oh, that might well, actually work. That that that's what I wanted to ask you guys about. Have you seen that Lifetime is remaking Steel Magnolias with an all black cast? Yes. I think I did see that. Or remade? Yeah, I think they remade because they're airing it. And then they had a lawsuit, so they had to win the lawsuit, and then yeah. one of the original producers wasn't happy or some crap. Well, wasn't the, happy with one of the one, one, one of the one of the writers. There, there have been several remakes, but one of the writers has it in her contract that she basically gets a percentage of the profit anytime they, they want to remake. You can remake all you want, but she gets yeah. a percentage of the profit. That's that's a given. Well, that's like and, Charlie Sheen and the Two and a Half Men. As long as the show was on the air, he got a portion of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. He got paid. And the original Batman series, Jack Nicholson got a piece of each of them. Yeah. All right. So with that said, it series. is it is well beyond our time to get out of here. Yeah, it was the Michael Keaton. Yes, era. You know, with the bat oh, dance. Oh, oh, the bat dance. The okay. Yeah, you gotta remember that. The original movie. movie. Not the Adam West. The original yeah, right. movies. Right. So with uh, with that being said, you've been listening to PTR Radio here on the fabulous entire web. Uh, we are here every other Monday. If there's a question about whether we're on or not, just uh, check us out on Facebook, and you'll know for sure. Also, make sure to like us. We're up to uh, I think 104 now. Mm -hmm. so we're just we're just growing by leaps and bounds because the next giveaway is going to be at I believe 200, 200 for another bag of randomness stuff. And uh, if you, if you check out our page, you can see just how good those prize packs really are. And just how random. Yeah, how random. Yes. Only PTR Radio would give away a Santa Claus beard. But we did it, and, and, we'll, and we'll be happy to do it again. I heard there's going to be a 46-inch TV in the next one. That's how great they are. There could be. It's a possibility. Very small. Uh, also, don't forget to check out our website, ptrradio.com. That's where you can find out all the information about the show as well as our podcast. That's right, podcast. So if you don't catch us live and you don't look at us on uh, YouTube, you can subscribe to the podcast and get us delivered in your mailbox or in your uh, podcast client. Also, if you happen to watch the shows on Facebook don't, or on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's right, like and subscribe to the PTR channel so that we know that you're out there. With that said, we'll be back in two weeks with our buddy, Mike Kaplan. That's right, our close, good friend, Mike Kaplan, will be on the air with us. And uh, if you have a question for him, email it in, sh show at ptrradio.com. Uh, Mike, anything from you? No, I think we're good. Right, uh, I know you want to tell people to make sure to check out all the masks available on uh, the Hangout. Yeah, listen, if you're not watching us on YouTube... I mean, listening to our streams is great. Listening to us through Stitcher is great. We love Stitcher. But if you're not watching it on YouTube, you're missing me experimenting with all kinds of stuff. That's right. I don't know. Men, goats, Listen, math, math, chicken. Yeah, okay. That's not the copyright notice we're going to get. <laughs> so. I'm telling you, we're going to get a I guarantee it. Tomorrow morning, we're going we're gonna to have one. Guaranteed. It'll be there tonight. It'll be there tonight. Guaranteed. <laughs> right. oh, I ain't going to see it. I'm going to bed. But All right. Guaranteed. All right. With that said, I'm Shaggy. I'm Nate. I'm Colin. I'm Mike D8, man. Fish, man, whatever. We'll see you later. Folks, take care.